Now we get to the true medical terminology uh, section of the digestive system. So this is where you want to concentrate on, right? So ane is the anus, appendo, appendic is appendix, buc, buco means cheek, sec, seco, cecum, cilio is the belly or the abdomen. Now here's, look at the spelling on this, cilio and chile, or cilio is lip, cholesti, Callista is gallbladder. Clodoc is the common bile duct. So a colodoctomy would be incision of the common bile duct. Cholecystectomy would be removal of the gallbladder. So a cholecystectomy, remember ectomy, is removal of the gallbladder. Chylosis would be like an abnormal condition of the lip. And cilia would be celiac disease that would be pertaining to the abdomen. So these are some good examples. Now, if we look at colon, colon, right? What about a colostomy? See, people were kind of uh, uh, confused by ectomy, otomy, and ostomy. But ectomy is removal, otomy is incision, and ostomy is a new opening. So make sure you get the difference between ectomy, otomy, and ostomy. Now colonic, you know what a colonic uh, is pertaining to the colon. You know, you can get a colonic cleanse. Uh, dent, a denti, that's why you go to the dentist, or denti buccal would mean pertaining to the tooth and cheek. Uh, duodenum or duodenum, duodenal pertaining to the duodenum, enter, right? What about enteropathy? That's a disease of the intestines. Okay, so entero meaning intestines. So esophago, esophagus, facey, facial, face, gastro, like gastritis, inflammation of the stomach, gingivitis, um, inflammation of the gums, glosso, glossopharyngeal, remember that, uh, glossopharyngeal nerve, so that's tongue, hepato, Okay, so think of what a hepatoma would be. That would be a tumor of the liver. Okay. Hepatomegaly would be enlargement of the liver. Now, ilio, what about the ileocecal sphincter or the ileocecal valve? Jejunum. So think about that, All right? What about a gastrojejunostomy? Think about that. A gastro jejunostomy. So ostomy, you know, that's new opening. So now you're in between the gastro and jejunum, so you're making a new opening between the stomach and the jejunum. Labia, or okay, labial, pertaining to the lip. Lapar, so that's laparoscopy, you know what that, lapar, laparoscopy would be visual examination of the abdomen. Lingual, lingual, sublingual would be underneath the tongue, so if you take vitamin B12, you want to take that sublingually, okay? Mandibulo, so think submandibular, which would be below the jaw. Odonto, orthodontist, you know what an orthodontist is, dentist specializing in straightening the teeth. A periodontist would be a dentist specializing in gums. Endodontist is a dentist specializing in operating within the tooth, such as a root canal. Oral, or like oral, pertaining to the mouth. Um, palate, think about a palatoplasty, surgical repair of the palate. Uh, pancreas, pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas. Uh, pharynge, pharyngeal throat, okay, pertaining to the throat. Pyloric, pyloric sphincter. Um, how about a pyloroplasty? So that would be. So pyloroplasty would be what? A surgical repair of the pyloric sphincter. Recto, what a recto seal is? That's the hernia of the rectum. Ooh, this is a good one. Siloden, sialoden. How about a sialodenectomy? Removal of the salivary glands. Sigmoid, you know, sigmoidoscopy, visual examination of the sigmoid. Stoma, right? Stomatitis, inflammation of the mouth. And uvula. So stomatitis, inflammation of the mouth. You and, okay, and then you have amylo, which is uh, amylase, is uh, enzyme to 
to break down starch. Billy, biliary, pertaining to bile. Billy Rubin, so if you have hyper, hyperbilirubemia, remember we had that question, hyperbilirubemia is excess bilirubin in the blood. Coal, so gall or bladder, right? Cholelithiasis, abnormal condition of gallstones. Chlorohydro, so let's think of a word with that. Okay. Hydrochloric acid. Now, gluc, that's what we know, gluconeogenesis, production of new sugar from proteins. And glyc, so gluc and glyc all both mean sugar. So you have glycogenesis, which is condition of producing glycogen from sugar for storage. So glycogenesis would be from the liver. But hyperglycemia is high blood sugar. Glycogen, animal starch. Glycogenolysis is a breakdown of glycogen. Lipo, lipoma, that's a tumor or fat. Sometimes you have the lipomas on your thighs. Uh, lith, cholocystolithiasis. Think about that. Cholocystolithiasis, condition of gallstones. Proteoprotease. A uh, sile, that's salivary. You can get silolith, which is a stone in the salivary gland. State, steet, how about steatorrhea, where you have a discharge of fats in the feces. Ooh, that sounds not so fun. Ace is enzyme. Chesia is defecation, elimination of waste. Okay. Prandial is a meal, and iasis is an abnormal condition. Now, anastomosis is three types of anastomosis. These are examples of an enterostomy. The suffix stomy, when used with two or more combining forms, entero, enter, Indicates the surgical creation of a new opening between those parts of the body. Okay, end to end, end to side. So there you go. That's called anastomosis. When stomy is used with two or more combining words to form organs, it means a surgical creation of an opening between these organs inside the body. So anastomosis. So you can see it ES or IS is a surgical connection between two body parts such as a vessel, duct, or bowel segments. Quick quiz. Which term means inflammation of the lip? You know that child means lips, so childitis. Here's pathology. Here's some signs and symptoms uh, that you might see. Uh, anorexia is lack of appetite. Ascites is abnormal accumulation of fluid in the abdomen. Uh, borborgimi, borborgimi, or borborgimis, rumbling or gurgling noises produced by the movement of gas, fluid, or both in the GI tract. Usually when you're taking a test and everyone's quiet, you actually hear those voices. So that's called borborgimi. <laughs> I like saying it. Borborgimi. Constipation, difficulty in passing stools, diarrhea is frequent passage of loose stool. So you, you might want to just look up signs and symptoms between ascites, borbogimus, constipation, diarrhea, dysphagia, flatulence, hematochesia, jaundice. Uh, these are just things that you might want to look up. Uh, dysphagia is difficulty in swallowing. Eructation is gas expelled from the stomach through the mouth. So like a burp. Okay, so eructation. You didn't know that, huh? Flatus or flatulence uh, is gas expelled through the anus. So burp is eructation. So next time you burp, you say, excuse me for passing eructation. It is better than the flatus. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hematochesia, passage of fresh, bright red blood from the rectum. No good. We don't like this. It sounds all passage of fresh, bright red blood, but no, that's that's bad news. That can be early signs of cancer. Okay, jaundice, icterus, 
yellow-orange coloration of the skin and whites of the eyes caused by high levels of bilirubin in the blood. Uh, Melena is a black tarry school, feces containing digested blood, nausea, unpleasant sensation in the stomach without with a tendency to vomit. You all have failed nauseated at times. Now, state toria is fat in the feces, frothy, foul-smelling fecal matter. Not good. There's usually some kind of issue with the pancreas or the gallbladder or some things that's going on, the bile. Uh, some pathological conditions of the oral cavity and teeth. Uh, aptostomitis is inflammation of the mouth with small painful ulcers. Dental caries are tooth decay, which those are actually known as cavities. Herpetic stomitis, inflammation of the mouth by infection with the herpes virus. Oral leukoplakia is white plaques or patches. Periodontal disease is inflammation and degeneration of the gums, teeth, and surrounding bone. Achalasia is failure of the lower esophagus muscles to relax, so you might get acid reflux. Esophageal cancer, bad news, malignant tumor of the esophagus. Gastric carcinoma is a malignant tumor of the stomach. Okay, so any kind of oma we don't like. Esophageal varices are swollen varicose veins at the lower end of the esophagus. GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Solids and fluids return to the mouth from the stomach. Peptic ulcer, open sore or lesion of the mucous membranes of the stomach or duodenum. So all these are bad. Okay, so you've probably heard of the GERD. You've probably heard of ulcers. Um, you've heard of her hernias, which is a protrusion of an organ or part through the muscle, normally containing it. Usually more common in uh, men. Okay, so you get an inguinal hernia. Uh, anal fistula is an abnormal tube-like passageway near the anus. A colonic polypsis, or polyps protrude from the mucous membrane of the colon. Here's colorectal cancel, which is a adenocarcinoma of the colon or rectum or both. Crohn's disease, which is chronic inflammation of the intestinal tract. Diverticulosis or diverticulysis, abnormal side pockets out pouchings in the intestinal wall. Again, this is not an anatomy class, so you don't need to know the mechanism of how these things happen. You just need to know the definitions of all this stuff. Dysentery is painful, inflamed intestines, so you can get that from uh, eating six tacos for a dollar. Um, hemorrhoids, swollen, twisted varicose veins in the rectal region. Ileus, which is failure of peristalsis with resulting obstruction of the intestines. Inflammatory bowel disease, inflammation of the colon and small intestine. Intoception, which is telescoping of the intestines. IBS, you've heard of. Irritable bowel syndrome, group of GI symptoms associated with stress and tension. Ulcerative colitis, chronic inflammation of the colon in the presence of ulcers. Volvulus, twisting of the intestines on itself. That's dangerous. More diseases, cirrhosis, chronic degeneration disease of the liver, hepatocellular carcinoma, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, malignant tumor of the pancreas, pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, Viral hepatitis, inflammation of the liver caused by the virus. And here's cholelithiasis, which are gallstones in the gallbladder. So you've heard of that, or some people have had the gallbladder removed. Okay, so. So this chapter has 72 slides, which is a lot of information. And really just memorizing the definitions of everything is what you really want to do. Remember, it's not an anatomy class. So I'm not going to ask why or how this occurs. You just need to know the definitions of each vocabulary word. I know it's a lot. Medical terminology is not easy, but uh, hopefully you can kind of 
go back and make some flashcards and so a lot of you have taken anatomy or are taking anatomy but you probably haven't uh, gone to the digestive system yet because that's usually later on in the semester so when you do take it you'll be that much ahead of the game here okay so make flashcards memorize memorize memorize